gained that tradition, the ideals of courage, endurance and makeshift that was still relevant today was established on 25th of April 1915. When war broke out in 1914, the Australian government raised the first Australian Imperial Force for overseas service. The nurse to staff the medical units, which formed the integral part of AIA was recruited from the Australian Army Nursing Service Reserve and also the civil nursing profession. During the First World War, a 1,000-bed hospital in Cairo, completely under tendage without any floor covering, was staffed by one matron, 15 sisters and 30 staff nurses with male medical ordinary on the Australian Army Medical Corps. The Australian Imperial Force casualty rates was 65% among the highest rate in the British and Commonwealth forces, with up to 250 patients at a time and just one orderly to help the nurses show that they were more than capable and Australians soon recognised their dedication. Many a soldier would see the red cap as a comfort, knowing he was being looked after by one of their own. The stretcher bearer was the first to reach the dying and wounded. Collecting and moving casualty was dangerous and also things would, was often to be done after that. Many were themselves casualty of the indiscriminate bullets, lest we forget.